Stretching exercises help to prevent muscle shortening and also work against existing contractures. Here are some exercises that you can do after your amputation. Hi Derek, how are you doing today? I'm doing good. Shortening of your muscle can prevent you from obtaining your natural gait pattern. It has always been my personal goal to move as inconspicuously as possible. Why don't you lie down on the stomach, Derek, and be comfortable? Stretching the residual limb helps maintain flexibility. Let's have a look at the first exercise. You need to lie on your stomach and turn your head to the non-amputated side and just maintain this position for 30 minutes if your general health allows it. To increase the intensity of the exercise, you can try and lift the non-amputated side while you're holding this position. You can hold for five seconds. Three sets of 15 repetitions throughout the 30 minutes is enough. Make sure you rest in between the sets. Another exercise you can do is try and extend your upper body. You need to lie on your stomach and pull your elbows perpendicularly below your shoulder so that all the weight is on the elbows. You can adopt this position for up to a minute and repeat it three times. Make sure you do not experience any back pain while you're lying in this position. I'd suggest that you repeat this exercise throughout the day. It not only gives your day structure, but brings you to a point where you directly influence your regeneration. And that's where you want to be. We can only give you a general advice. Your physiotherapist, the nursing staff, and the doctor are in a better position to individually determine your personal health status. You should never experience pain while doing any of the exercises shown. If you do experience any pain, please stop and visit your doctor.